What's up, everybody? Okay, we got a good one for you today, and it is Anyone But You, uh, starring Sydney Sweeney and uh, Glenn Powell. Uh, this one was an amazing movie. I'm just going to go right off the bat and just say it. It was a pretty damn good movie. Uh, I'm going to give it probably a solid 8.5 out of 10, and there's reasons why, and I really want to talk about this one and uh, about their, their chemistry on screen and a lot of little things that, um, you know, rom-coms kind of do but this one did differently so uh let's get right into it here we go all right everybody anyone but you starring sydney sweeney and glenn powell uh first off their chemistry on screen was very very good uh there 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 were times when i actually felt that they were in a relationship and they were actually jealous or they were actually hurting um in some of the scenes and it, it, it was good it was really good so um kudos to them for knocking it out of the park on that i mean these two people are just damn good looking people uh you know and i and i want to give a little bit of a shout out to sydney sweeney for taking on a little bit of a different role um from the stuff that we've known her for in euphoria right um which is very she's kind of she kind of plays like this um uh kind of chaotic cheerleader teeny bopper um girl that is so infatuated almost borderline stalker um to this other guy so we get we get that part from her this drama and, and all that stuff but in this movie you really do fall in love with her and her character uh she gives this uh sense of adorableness this sense of um vulnerability if you will that i haven't seen her act in and it was it was amazing she did an, a knockout job uh, she really stretched her her acting chops and displayed you know the the wide range going from something like euphoria to this kind of rom-com thing so kudos to her she really 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 stepped up on this one and and um yeah i'm really looking forward to her you know seeing her in um what is it madam webb so she's kind of you know gonna take on different different um roles that have different um that's gonna pull different kind of acting chops out of her and i'm really excited for her and i, I didn't really doubt her but i just i do i was just kind of like um expecting something different in terms of like the delivery and i think in this one she kind of like over delivered in a good way so kudos to her for that and glenn powell this dude is just like fucking amazing um i've only seen a couple of his movies the more recent ones like top gun and that other one that he did with uh, jonathan majors um which were both like kind of like a drama ish kind of uh, but in this one, again, just like Sidney Sweeney, he really um, brought the comedy. He brought uh, swag. He brought, um, you know, a different uh, type of acting chops that he's, um, you know, best known for as of late. Now, don't butcher me on this. I have not really seen any of his like movies other than those two. So um, and, and even Sidney Sweeney, like I haven't really followed her. I don't really follow anybody. It's just just kind of what I see um so he did he did a bang out job they both did and again without their on-screen chemistry this kind of film would have just fell flat and just would have just suffered and um it, I, th I really strongly feel because they had such great chemistry on screen it really forced everybody to kind of deliver gata was amazing um <laughs> which is another guy so if you know gata you know him from dave uh the little dicky show on fx uh and and he, he plays uh, you know one type of character so when i saw the trailer for this movie and i saw uh gata was casted i i was kind of like curious as to what kind of um acting chops he had outside of gata from the gata that we know from dave and he brought a different vibe to this so it was it was it was it was pretty good for him um, i'm really proud of him for stepping out of his shell and i and i and i hope i hope that uh, he gets cast in a lot of uh, other things because i can definitely see gata doing like a, a drama like a raw drama kind of like a uncut gems kind of drama he, he seems like he has that kind of t uh, chops because if you take what he's done in dave and then also what he's done in this one and just kind of like um do a contrast you can see where his development has come from and what he could potentially do so kudos to gata everybody on this cast was funny the story was was you know 
it was okay um nothing really groundbreaking so and and honestly when you see the trailers to these kind of movies you already know what you're gonna watch it's really two people that don't like each other they pretend to be something and then they end up falling in love with each other that's the formula it, it, if it's it's like what they say if it ain't broke don't fix it right so but what what they did differently in this formula was they didn't shy away from a lot of <laughs> things um I, I i feel like they 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 kind of made the couples um the couples uh sydney's and and glenn's characters uh i don't know how to explain it it's like like they're real like right like like these are kind of the situations that you would find um in real life rather than you know the the magical stuff right i mean there were some of that stuff but really like I, i'll give you an example and it's you see this in the trailer when when um she finds a spider in his shorts right like uh, the reaction and how they kind of play together you kind of would probably react that same way and 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 i'm not talking about the scaredness i'm talking about what happens after that or like during that whole scene because it, it it, it, I don't want to spoil it, but when you see it, you, you'll understand what I'm saying. So this, I hope that kind of makes sense. The the, the rom-com um, genre is very, very formulated. And like I said, um, J-Lo has done this for a while. She's kind of, you know, crowned the, the queen of rom-coms. But watch the fuck out, J-Lo, because Sydney Sweeney's going to come for that crown. And rightfully so. She is, she's, she's she really did a great job in this film to the point where like she brought out this adorableness in this character she's i mean whenever we see sydney on screen and um i i, I think she had an issue with this too is that we kind of sexualize her right um in this movie she really did, she, i don't know how to explain it she 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 was just beautiful she was adorable and it was really just how she played her character like you really really wanted to just give her a hug you really wanted to just give her a hug and tell her like everything's gonna be fine uh and, and that just that just shows like the, the level of acting that she has like she she can pull all these emotions and everything and so we're not so fixated or you know the world is not fixated on just her looks alone and and it's kind of it's it kind of sucks to say that um because i know she wants to be recognized for something more than just her looks and she she um she just knocked it out of the park like i'm telling you when 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 i when i say that you just want to kind of reach through the screen and give her a hug you really do and it's it's her adorableness she's beautiful and i think that glenn powell the way he acted with her it really like again full circle full circled everything in their character and the story and it was just good i'm probably beating a dead horse with this movie at this point but it was it was damn good like it was good uh yeah the, like i said the story is not groundbreaking it's not gonna win oscars but it was good it's it's a great holiday film and uh speaking of the holidays we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a pickle if you're only gonna have time to see one movie there's definitely gonna be something there for you this weekend so you got you got this one anyone but you coming out right then you have iron claw that's coming out then you have uh aquaman that's coming out so there's gonna be something you're gonna either watch a drama a rom-com that's got comedy in it or you're gonna watch your superhero movie i'm gonna go check out all three. Oh uh, well now two more uh <laughs> but again um anyone but you this was a, a great film it's very funny um go check it out i'll give it a solid 8.5 out of 10 I gotta say, they, and and that's really due to the acting and how funny it was. It was it was it was a good time. So yeah, guys, that's gonna do it for me on anyone but you. Uh, do like and subscribe for uh, the uh, notifications for the next ones because I'm gonna be doing uh, Iron Claw tomorrow, the Von Eric story, and I'm really excited about that. It's the first time that I'm actually gonna go into the theaters with some level of expectations because if you're of age like me, then you know more or less the Von Eric story and how sad that was. And just from the, the trailer that I saw, I only seen one because so, I didn't wanna spoil anything for myself. Um, it looked very, very good. Zach Efron, uh, Jeremy Allen White, uh, and um, I'm sorry, I forget the other gentleman that's playing the character, but um, it looks so good. It looks like uh, almost to the level of The Wrestler. If you haven't seen that, go check that out too. 
but yeah i'm gonna go see that and then i'm gonna go see aquaman uh, so videos to come out stay tuned like i said hit the like subscribe and uh we'll catch you soon all right have a good one keep spreading that love later guys